With the second year beginning, Ayanokoji will be confronted with 160 new students, some of which will rival his brains, while others tackle his brawn. However, the true threat lies in the existence of another student from the White Room. We immediately find Tsukashiro in the White Room, having a meeting with a certain student. He explains their mission is to integrate into the first year class, with their goal being to have Ayanokoji expelled. Kei Karuizawa, aka his secret girlfriend, enters into the classroom drawing everyone's attention, though Horikita steals it all away due to her new hairstyle. Sudo is fond of this new look, but Kushida on the other hand is disgusted to share a hairstyle with her enemy. Now the class is given tablets in place of textbooks, and Chabashira forces everyone to download the new Overall Ability app. Essentially, the school has summarized each and every student's abilities into a numerical value, which is then put on public display in this app. Luckily, each year is calculated separately, however the previous year's scores are permanently on display for all to see. Chabashira then warns them that an unknown minimum score may be needed sometime in the future, and you also learn that Sakura and Ike are tied for the lowest overall score. Chabashira-sensei then moves on to discussing the next special exam. It will consist of an extremely difficult written test. However, the twist is that each student must partner up with a first year. They're given a two-week window to find a partner, whose score will be added to their own. Each person can potentially acquire up to 500 points. However, if a pair fails to get at least 501 points, then the second year student will be expelled, as the first year will also be penalized. It's also worth noting that anyone who flunks this test on purpose will immediately be expelled, though Ayanokoji notices there's no rule protecting the partner of someone who purposely scores a zero. This means Ayanokoji is guaranteed to be expelled if he accidentally selects the White Room Spy as his partner. Chabashira goes on explaining that if you can't secure a partner before the exam, you'll be given one randomly on testing day, along with a 5% penalty to your grade. She also points out that they can and should use the OAA app to select a suitable partner. In between classes, Ike begins freaking out, as he's basically screwed unless he convinces a top-tier student to become his partner. Harada skillfully calms him down, as he and Horikita promise to help everyone find a reliable partner. Then it's a short while later that Horikita reminds Ayanokoji of their competition, followed by a discussion around the special exam. She's been using the OAA app to scope out the first years, and states that finding Sudo a partner should be their top priority. When suddenly, they each receive a message from Ichinose, inviting them to a meet and greet for all the first and second years. They both agree that classes A and C probably won't be attending, as they can just use a large amount of private points to buy their partners. Horikita then offers to find a partner for Ayanokoji, but he chooses to decline, as he can't risk being partnered up with the spy. They head on over to the meet and greet, with Sudo accompanying them. They immediately realize that less than half of the first years are in attendance, and that most of the people here are struggling academically. It's just a few minutes later when Horikita declares that it's time for them to leave. Sudo points out that they haven't even talked to anyone yet, prompting her to explain that she's planning to target the students who didn't attend. It's also strange that there wasn't a single student here from Class 1D, leading her to believe that it must already have a leader. Sudo doesn't believe they can win by partnering with Class D, and Horikita actually agrees with him. She explains they don't stand a chance against Class A or C in a battle of money. Plus, the small reward for this exam is almost negligible. Our group makes their way to the first year classrooms to find Ryun exiting Class 1D. They exchange a polite greeting as Ryun begins taunting Sudo. Horikita points out that he'll only scare the first years with this type of behavior, to which he replies, That's the plan. Ryun then states that these first years seem a little too informed for brand new students, allowing Horikita to step inside to find Class 1D completely empty. The following day, Ayanokoji notices a commotion in the hallway, and steps outside to find two first years walking toward them. They both take a second to glance toward Ayanokoji, before confronting Horikita. 
The boy has a very nasty attitude as he instructs Horikita to get down on her knees and beg him for help with this special exam. She points out they're class D as well, but Hosen uses the second year's potential expulsion as leverage against Horikita. Hosen then asks Udo if he wants to throw down, before swiftly knocking him over. Ishizaki steps between them as Nanase attempts to de-escalate the situation. Ishizaki reaches toward Hosen, but is stopped by Ryun. Do that if you want to die. You come to find out that Ryun and Hosen were both famous delinquents where they grew up. However, this is their first time actually crossing paths. Surprisingly, Ryun refuses to fight, so Hosen grabs Ibuki by the throat, lifting her into the air. Nanase forces Hosen to back down with a threat, just as a teacher arrives to reprimand him. As they walk away, another first year from Class 1B steps forward, immediately recognizing Kushida from middle school and asking if she'll become his partner. She's very hesitant to accept, and Ayanokoji wonders if Yagami knows about Kushida's past. After class the next day, Sudo, Horikita, and Ayanokoji are at the mall, where they attempt to recruit some first year Class D students. Apparently, they've already received offers from two other classes, and explain they'd be willing to partner up with Sudo for a massive 500,000 personal points. Horikita declines, asking to be introduced to their class, but they refuse because Hosen would get angry. You then learn Horikita's three goals for the special exam, with her reasoning being that they don't have enough points to outbid classes A and C. And in order to reach these goals, she's planning to form a cooperative relationship with class 1D. Seemingly out of nowhere, they are interrupted by a class 1A girl, and after a bit of conversation, she agrees to partner up with Sudo if he can cook her a tasty meal. Now, Sudo doesn't know the first thing about cooking, so Horikita volunteers Ayanokoji to cook on Sudo's behalf. She agrees to meet up with Ayanokoji tomorrow, but keeps all the details for her meal a secret. At this point, roughly 30% of the students have found partners. However, Class 1D hasn't formed a single pair. Ayanokoji begins thinking about the White Room Spy, and how his odds of being paired up with them increases each and every day. While on his way to school, Nanase approaches him, apologizing for Hosen's violent behavior. He takes this opportunity to ask if their classes might be able to work together. Personally, she would love to cooperate with them, but she doesn't think her class will agree. Then with a very dark glare in her eye, she agrees to attempt to set up a meeting. Ayanokoji then makes his way to school and waits outside to inform Horikita of his agreement with Nanase. She's glad to hear this and mentions that Kushida did in fact pair up with Yagami, which should help some of their peers find partners within Class 1B. Now the time has come for the cooking contest, so Ayanokoji goes to the mall to meet up with Amasawa. She leads him into the store, forcing him to buy everything the meal requires, completely disregarding the fact he already owns half of it. They head back to his dorm, where she prohibits the use of his phone, before ordering him to cook Tom Young Goong. Ayanokoji has no idea how to make this dish, though this is exactly why he sneakily puts in an earpiece, which is connected to Horikita through Sudo's phone. Amasawa then mentions that she'd like to have an apple with the meal, which explains the need for the fruit knife. Thanks to Horikita's instructions, he completes the dish in about 30 minutes, placing it and the apple in front of his judge. She scarfs down the food, saying that it was decent, before jumping up to clean the kitchen. Ayanokoji asks if it was good enough, to which she says not quite, but she still agrees to partner with Sudo anyway. She takes her leave, and Ayanokoji takes some time, debating whether or not Amasawa could be the spy. Now, around the same time as the cooking contest, Ryun and Sakayanagi were each having a meeting with their underlings. The takeaway is that both of them believe the other to be dancing in the palm of their hand, and that neither of them are actually paying the ridiculous amount of points that they've offered to the first years. Though, it is worth noting that Ryun is straight up paying people just to decline Sakayanagi's offers. Now, they've met with Nanase today to discuss a cooperative relationship, but Class 1D can't agree with this because Hosen believes in individualism. At this point, Horikita realizes that Hosen holds total control over this class, so she wants to speak with him directly. A few moments later, she talks to Hosen over the phone, who rudely tells her to pay up or fuck off. 
Then it's that very same night that Ayuna Koji receives a phone call from his girlfriend, who informs him that the store has only sold one of a certain item. You then find out that Kei managed to secure a partner through Kushida, but she also admits to slacking on her studies, which is why Ayuno Koji invites Kei to come to his room tomorrow evening. The following day, they head back to the library to meet up with Nanase once again. She arrives 30 minutes late because she was attempting, but failing, to convince Hosen to come as well. Nanase offers up the idea of making a secret deal behind Hosen's back, but Horikita immediately declines, prompting Nanase to reveal that this proposal was just a test of Horikita's resolve. She then explains her plan to force a meeting with Hosen this coming Sunday, which Horikita agrees to before leaving the two of them behind. Behind. Then with the dark look in her eye once again, Nanase states that she suspects Ayana Koji of being a bad person, though she apologizes shortly after as they begin discussing this school. Unlike Ayana Koji's grade, this group of first years were only given 800 class points. However, they were compensated with detailed instructions on how this school operates, but they were not told about protection points. Later that night, Kei arrives to his room and does about an hour of studying before collapsing on the table. She pushes through another hour before reaching down to pick up a single red hair off the floor. Kei freaks out. He tries to explain, just as Amasawa rings the intercom. Kei angrily attempts to answer, but Ayuna Koji intercedes, letting her into the room. Amasawa explains that Ayuna Koji is her personal chef, and that she's come here today to search for her lost hair tie. She quickly finds it in the kitchen and makes her escape, leaving behind one very pissed off girlfriend. At this point, only 50-ish pairs remain, causing Ayana Koji to worry about partnering up with the spy. Due to this, he heads to the mall in search of first years, but winds up running into Sakaya Nagi. She's already taken into account that a spy might be hidden among the students, and she offers Ayana Koji a partner that she's already acquired. Though, he declines her offer because he'd rather be in control of his own fate. He's then stopped by two unknown first years, Subaki and Utomiya. Tsubaki is still in need of a partner, and asks Ayuna Koji to pair up with no strings attached. This is obviously a little too fishy, so he declines, claiming that he already has someone in mind. Elsewhere on campus, you see Sato and Kei hanging out for the first time in a while. Sato leads them to a secluded area, where she asks why Kei broke up with Harada. She suspects there was a significant reason behind it, but Kei chooses to play dumb. Sato straight up asks if Kei is dating Ayana Koji, and demands to know how long she's liked him. Kei finally admits to being his girlfriend, explaining that she began noticing Ayana Koji around the time of their double date. Then with a slap, and tears rolling down her face, Sato mutters, Now we're even. They're then able to hug and make up, because Sato recognizes that Ayana Koji rejected her, and that you can't really control who you fall for. Sunday evening rolls around, and our group arrives to the agreed-upon meeting location 30 minutes early. Sudo tries getting Suzune to sing a few songs, but of course she declines. Nanase and Hosen arrive right on time, and Horikita asks for a cooperative relationship. He rejects this, she clearly states they refuse to pay for partners, but Hosen seems to believe otherwise. Nanase mentions that they might need allies in the future, but Hosen says, The day may never come for Horikita to return this favor. He wants 1 million private points as collateral. Horikita refuses, so he reaches out, grabbing her by the collar. Sudo rockets out of his seat, but Horikita motions for him to stay back. Hosen then changes his angle, revealing that he'll cooperate if they can beat him in a fight. Sudo is more than ready to throw down, but Horikita calls off the negotiations, causing Hosen to drench her with a glass of water. Sudo lunges forward to attack, but Horikita reels him in once again before leaving. Hosen, however, catches up to them, claiming he is finally ready to cooperate. They find another secluded location to begin negotiating, just as Hosen jacks up the price to 3 million private points. Horikita basically laughs in his face, causing Hosen to turn violent. She turns to leave, Hosen leaps forward, only to be stopped by Sudo. The two hotheads begin to brawl, as Nanase explains that President Nagamo personally informed them that some violence is in fact okay. 
Hosen is winning and eventually tricks Sudo into looking toward Horikita, only to deliver a strong hook to the face, knocking Sudo down. Horikita takes a fighting stance, but is immediately overpowered. Pushing the matter even further, Hosen pulls out a knife, threatening to kill Ayuna Koji if they don't cough up 5 million points. Nanase tries jumping between them, but is quickly slapped away, as Hosen steps toward Ayuna Koji with the knife held in a backhanded grip. The blade streaks downward as Ayuna Koji charges forward, purposely catching the blade with an impaled hand. Ayuna Koji reveals this knife to be the same one he used to cook with, and states that Hosen was about to stab himself in order to frame Ayuna Koji. To counter this, Ayuna Koji had to let himself be stabbed, resulting in blood splattering all across Hosen's clothes. At this point, Ayuna Koji is more or less aware that a bounty has been placed on his head, and that Amasawa retrieved this knife the same night he was studying with Kei. A very unnerved Hosen asks what happens now, so Ayuna Koji offers to keep this incident quiet under two conditions. The first is that their classes form a cooperative relationship, and the second is that Hosen becomes Ayuna Koji's partner. His thinking behind this is that the White Room spy would want to keep a low profile, which is the exact opposite from the way Hosen's been acting. Hosen agrees before leaving, and Ayuna Koji calls Chabashira Sensei, asking for some help and a towel. Nanase then takes a moment explaining that some of the first years were given the special task of getting Ayuna Koji expelled. The reward for said task is 20 million private points, and this is the reason why Hosen was willing to stab himself. Horikita is not satisfied and demands more details, however Ayuna Koji tells her to just let it go. Nanase then looks at Ayuna Koji with those dark eyes, telling him that he never should have come to this school. It's now many days later, and the special exam has been concluded, with a 100% passing rate. Horikita had chosen the math test for their competition, and scored a very impressive 87 points, putting her at the top of the class. However, she only came in second place, due to Ayuna Koji scoring a perfect 100 points. The entire class is shocked, to say the least, and Yukimura even asked to speak with him in private, though Ayuna Koji turns him away, as he needs to talk with Horikita. Due to the test results, and stabbing, Horikita finally acknowledges Ayuna Koji's ridiculous power. They are then interrupted by Chabashira Sensei, who takes Ayuna Koji to speak with the director. You see, the time limit is up, so he asks Ayuna Koji for the name of the secret spy. However, Ayuna Koji's not sure, so he chooses not to name anyone. This puts Tsukashiro in a good mood, that is until Ayuna Koji points out that Tsukashiro's plan seems to have failed. Mr. Director reveals that the spy disobeyed his orders. However, he's not too worried, because this mission's deadline has been extended. And a big thank you to my newest patron, Koem Genis.